All right, so welcome everybody to our 10 a.m. Collider coffee break this Friday morning, uh, where we just take a few moments out of your morning to share with you what we've been working on at Collider to help Rochester entrepreneurs. So thanks for joining us today. So we will send it to Jamie to start us off this morning. So this is the week. Um, I'm happy to say that Collider uh, at the Minnesota Biobusiness Center is open. Um, it's a it's been a really hectic couple of days, uh, getting everybody adjusted, uh, getting everything sort of set up and going. But the day is here. We're so excited to have our space open, and uh, we're really looking forward to uh, really the growth of this new space uh, here in this fantastic building. Um, so thank you to everybody who's helped us get this space launched, especially Ready and a few other great partners. Um, look forward to more great additions uh, to the space coming soon. We weren't able to get everything that we wanted to do together. So in the next couple of week, weeks, there'll be more and more stuff. So if you're curious about Collider, uh, probably the best way is to just check us out at our new location here in the Minnesota Biobusiness Center. Uh, many of you maybe not as uh, uh, what used to be Dooley's, the building that Dooley's is sort of uh, next to, as well as Think Bank. Um, but definitely check us out on the second floor of the Skyway level. I also want to just take a second to say thank you to Give Minnesota. Give Minnesota traditionally launches their charitable giving campaign for the state of Minnesota every fall. And a lot of nonprofits jumped on that. Collider benefited immensely from all of your support uh, here in the fall. Uh, due to the circumstances of the pandemic, they have actually decided to do a spring edition of their sort of statewide charitable giving, which provides some match dollars and these things called golden tickets that go out to a lot of nonprofits during uh, that fundraising uh, day or week. Um, so Collider will be participating in that and it'll run from May 1st to May 11th. Um, and we're, we're really excited about being you know, trying to do another fundraiser to keep uh, all of the great uh, operations and work that we do at Collider going. Um, thank you to Give Minnesota for stepping up and uh, doing something kind of out of the ordinary for them. So I uh, look for a lot of promotional materials here very, very soon. And with that, I'll send it back to Amanda. All right, so now we'll send it over to Eric to hear what he's been working on this week. Hello, everyone. Um, this week, I wrote a story, um, the key features of starting a successful business. Um, in this story, I highlighted some of the mindsets and techniques that entrepreneurs that we've been, we've been interviewing for the past couple of years tend to have. I highlighted, I also highlighted some strategies that people can use and people can think of when they're starting business, their own businesses. So it could be useful in the long run whenever they need it. And um, it's at the final phase and we'll be publishing it sometime soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, another thing, another thing that I've been working on this week is I will be interviewing entrepreneurs who are still starting their new businesses in Rochester. So, in, this is a new theme of stories where I'll be talking about entrepreneurs who um, recently are building their own businesses. And in that, I'll be highlighting about how and why they want to start a business at this time, what are some of the strategies they have in mind, what are some of the plans they have in mind, and what kind of goals they want to reach. So it's a very interesting um, topic. And I'm really excited to be working on that. And I will be interviewing two entrepreneurs regarding that this week. And their stories will be out pretty, not, not so long, in not so long. So stay tuned for that as well. Thank you very much. So in other stories on Rochester Rising this week, we publish podcast episode 219 this week with Dr. Abby Splitstoser of Rochester Chiropractic and Wellness. Um, as well as featuring a bit of that podcast in a story this week. So this was a really great conversation with Abby talking about how she purchased an existing business in the community, which I think some, is something people are really interested in. And 
um, how she found her co-founder, another thing people are always really interested in, and also how she's been scaling her team. So if those are things of interest to you, tune in to the podcast, episode 219, where you can find on our website and wherever you listen to podcasts, as well as on our website. So also, I wanted to remind everyone that we have one of our very first virtual education events of 2021 coming out in a few weeks on April 13th. So you want to start a food business, a panel discussion. So um, if you are somebody listening in who has a great idea for a food-based business but doesn't know where to start, this is a great event for you. It's free. It'll be held virtually over Zoom from 9 to 10 a.m. on Tuesday, April 13th. And at Collider, we really believe that entrepreneurs should lead. So this is a panel discussion led by entrepreneurs in the community who have been doing this work, have built their businesses and lessons learned from them that are directly applicable to people thinking about growing a food-based business. So we'll have the links for that in the show notes. So check it out. So my final thing this week also, <laughs> Uh, storytelling related, I got to be on the other side of a podcast this week and was interviewed by Jack and Kevin at the tech.mn podcast, which was really fun. It's a little, honestly, it's a lot easier to interview people than to be interviewed, <laughs> but I think it, it turned out I didn't say anything too embarrassing. So it was a really fun experience. Got to um, shout out several Rochester-based businesses so we can include that in the show notes as well. If you want to learn more about Rochester Rising, how that uh, kind of grew into Collider and that story. So that is it for me this week. So I guess my final thought today is I uh, actually uh, took some time off uh, starting last Friday to Tuesday and went to visit my parents in Rapid City, South Dakota. And as I traveled across, uh, well, really two states, you know, it became very apparent to me uh, how I think Rochester is really positioned uh, in, in many ways to really bounce back very, very quickly uh, from all of the, you know, terrible things that happened in 2020 or in 2020. And I'm really, it really helped to raise my spirits a little more that, that we're really, there's so much opportunity in this city that I think sometimes we take it for granted and we think, oh, well, every city is like this. It's truly not, you know, going across and being, you know, even involved for a few minutes inside a community, you can kind of tell how that community operates. And I think we're in just such a great position here in Rochester to do some amazing things with some really amazing people. So I, I just wanted to sort of reinforce that it helps to get out of the bubble every now and again. And I think we are in a fantastic position here in Rochester. And I can't wait to see all of the great companies, all of the great partnerships, all of the great large companies that are interested in moving to Rochester. I think it, it, this, this next few years is gonna be quite amazing for this for the city and for our entrepreneurial communities. So um, I just say onward, it's, it's gonna be a fun ride. And with that, I'll hand it back to Amanda. All right, thanks so much for everyone for tuning in to our coffee break this morning and for spending a few minutes of your time with us to learn what we've been up to at Collider to help Rochester entrepreneurs. So thanks for listening in today. And as always, we encourage you to like this video, make sure that you receive notifications for when new ones come out and please forward it on to at least one person that could be helped by some of the information shared today. So thanks for listening in.